Well, tonight, parents of Fairfax County students shared their concerns over school safety directly to the district superintendent. Yeah, their worries range from how threats are communicated to whether entrances are actually secure. Yeah, Northern Virginia New Bureau reporter Max Marcilla joining us live tonight from South Lakes High School in Reston. And Max, people you spoke with say they're glad this conversation is now taking place. Yeah, it gave them a chance to share some of their uneasiness or any worries they have when sending their kids to school and gave them a chance to share those right with the district superintendent. A lot of the conversation tonight circling around what happens right here at the entrances where the kids start their days. It was called a community conversation that some Fairfax County parents hope will ease their worries when sending their children to school, especially when they raised concerns about who can get into the schools. These Evolve weapons detectors are already approved in Prince William County and Manassas City Schools. They're on the table here in Fairfax County. We really want to make sure before we make that investment that we're uh, investing in the software that's going to have the biggest impact for us. But it's just one tool parents want to see for the front door, the first line of defense. Just buzzing people in without even asking who they're, why they're there, who they are, who their kids are. To address that, Superintendent Michelle Reed says it takes oversight and training. But for some parents, their biggest concern isn't with the school building, but rather with the trailers, which are in place to address overcrowding. Trailers are a problem uh, sometimes during uh, nice days. I have seen the doors propped open. FCPS officials said the doors automatically lock and should always be closed. I think that there's probably a little bit of a wider area that needs to be covered than just the actual physical school. Now, as far as those weapons detectors that would go in the entrances of schools, no timetable on when those could be put in place, no timetable on a vote, if, of course, would have to go through the school board first. Reporting live in Reston, Max Marcella, DC News Now.